how you doing all welcome back to the channel I'm the Peaky Biker and as you've read on the title this is going to be my review of my R1250 so What were the things that drew me to the R1250 GSA? Well, I'd bought a 2007 Kawasaki 650 Versi uh, after I stopped racing, so I kind of fancied something. I'd been watching a lot of stuff on, on tour uh, and people touring. So I kind of thought to myself, I want to have a crack at that and uh, just see what the score was really. So I've done a few little trips on that, went to Scotland, did a few long weekends on it, enjoyed riding. So I thought, let's start having a look at some bigger and better bikes. And I test rode the KTM 1250. Dave really liked that. I test rode the Triumph. I think it was the 900 XT or the 800 XT. Um, liked it. It was a nice, comfortable bike. It just they have the the unfinished like this has so yeah test rode this and literally got back to the dealership and just fell in love with it so I bought one <laughs> I kind of really want to do a lot more as in personalise the bike than what I've done but I just thought to myself I'm going to uh, get out and ride rather than spend the money on on the bike I'm going to get out and ride it One of the things I am going to do is I am going to get it wrapped. Slow down, prick. I am going to get it wrapped. So that's one thing I am going to do because then I'm going to keep it. But with any bike, there's good things and bad things. So I'm going to start off with the bad things. Just to, let's move that round. Just keep you guys interested. <laughs> So the bad thing is, or one of the bad things that I find is the cost of the servicing. Every time we take the bike in, it's at least three or four hundred quid. And that's just to keep the warranty on it. I wouldn't say it was a bad thing this next point, but it's something that, uh, that took me a while to get used to, which is the front 
cantilever suspension with a because it doesn't dive like a normal bike so when you hit a corner it doesn't dive like a normal bike uh, where should we go should we go down here yes yeah, get down here I'll make sure there's no cars coming there we go yeah so it doesn't dive like a normal bike so that take well it took me a while to get used to that I'll shut that because a few flies about on these little country lanes so yeah um the cost the cost of the bike is a, is is a major factor as well you know 20 odd grand for a bike you know it's a lot of money and the dealerships have kind of got you over a babble. It's because they know if you're spending 20 grand on a bike, you've got to keep up the warranty on it at the end of the day. If anything goes wrong, you ain't got a leg to stand on then. Let's go around here. Yeah, you ain't got a leg to stand on, so they kind of know that you, you've you've got to you've got to keep up the, the servicing and have stuff done by them. So the next point is, which is a big one. Literally, the size and how heavy the bike is because it is a heavy bike. When I was on my Scottish Little Soldiers ride, it went over twice. Thankfully, I was a uh, war on the bike the first time. It took three of us to beat the bike up with all the kit on. The second time it went over, I was on my own. So I ended up having to take off my bag, take off my panniers, take off my back box, everything. Just to be able to just to be able to lift it up. So it is it is a heavy bike. And really the cost of the fuel as well if you're going for the adventure like I have which is the 30 litre tank you know at its peak it was costing me 50 quid to fill this up so that's another factor And what I would say is, if you're going to go for the bike, this whiz wheel is absolutely fantastic because it controls the sat nav. But the, this nav six is just not—it's not good enough for the bike. So this is my fourth nav six now. Um, when it works, it's—it's it's absolutely fantastic. But I've had a couple of times where I've been on tour. I've been on tour and it's just absolutely shut itself. Which obviously I know good. So that's a down point really. It is good to have the, the whiz wheel so that when you click onto the nav you can scroll through stuff your waypoints there you go front tire you can scroll out so that you can when i was doing the scottish little challenge i was scrolling out quite wide so i could see the marker points 
just to give myself a little bit of encouragement but yeah um, but that's really good when it works so the good points for this for my bike now I've learnt that the telelever suspension it's rock solid in the corners now you know how to tackle absolutely rock solid it handles if you've got road tyres on I mean I've got off road tyres on at the moment because I'm just doing a little bit of um, shale riding in a few places when I can so I'm going to uh, I'm going to say when you've got road tyres on this is absolutely fantastic handles like a dream how comfortable the bike is especially on long distances I can sit for a good three hours on this I try not to but I have done when I did Scotty's Little Soldiers so you're just in the nice position with your legs your legs are too far down too bent too far forward the seat's comfortable so yeah you're just in the nice nice position I mean obviously as you can see I've got the small screen on I like the small screen just so that when I'm doing these tours or these vlogs you've got a good uh, a good view for you guys without having a, a you know having the screen in there so So I've clocked up about 24 and a half thousand miles on this bike now. So I think I could give this a decent review. I've rode other bikes. But I just get on this one and it just ticks all the boxes. All the boxes. Camping festival there this weekend by the looks of it. So yeah, the other the other reason why I went for this bike, um, I went for the GSA, so I went for the adventure, so I went for the 30 litre tank, and that was just something that I wanted. Um, you know, it's to each each individual's specs what you want from a bike you know you can take a little bit off each person a little bit of info off each person and that's that's a good a good trait to have when you're watching videos especially these ride review videos or bike review videos or kit review videos Everything's all right now, do you know what I mean? It's a... It's a crap. So... You know... That's what you got to remember. There's legislations and laws now that you can't have shit stuff. But... Yeah. But I just wanted a 30 litre tank so I could just sit on this bike for a good 300 mile and not have to worry about fuel. Now the other thing why I went for this bike was the amount of miles that I wanted to do as well. So I wanted the heated grips. I was too bothered about the heated seat but now I've got it it's an absolute godsend. So yeah. When you riding in the rain, you know, 
people, you know, it's cold. When you're going, you know, you're going out in the winter months as I ride all year round. It's nice to have these, uh, these little luxuries. Open that air vent up. That's nice now. Rocking chips. <laughs> It is nice, it really is nice this bike. I kind of fell out of love with it a little bit a few months ago, but I just think that was because of the dealer. I just felt like I got shafted. But, can't do nothing about that really. I do feel for me this is the best bike that I could have chosen. So I like the way it looks as well, and that's the other thing, is the look of the bike. You gotta make sure you like the look of the bike. Twenty four degrees. Absolutely beautiful. So that's my little review on my BMW twelve fifty GSA rally. I still love it. <laughs> I still love it. So yeah. Would I choose it again? 100%. 100%. So that's me done. So for me the Peaky Biker, if you can all stay safe, keep your family safe, if you all do one thing, please, which is smile. Thank you very much, me muckers. Thank you. So that's me done. See you soon, me muckers. Take care.